Without a doubt, the most common question I get from brand new students or people who are considering this course is, if I take the course and finish it, will I get a job? Well, much like the beloved 2008 romantic comedy starring Ryan Reynolds, I tell those students, definitely, maybe. It really, really depends. Many, many students have gone on to get jobs from taking this course, but it's not at all guaranteed. Let's talk a little bit about the anatomy of an actual job guaranteed bootcamp, uh, like the bootcamps I teach in person. My, I, I have an online bootcamp uh, that comes with a job guarantee. But remember, we're talking about twelve to twenty-four thousand, I guess twenty-two thousand dollar bootcamps. Um, why do people pay for them? What is there uh, that costs that much? Well. The first bit's the curriculum, and this course is based upon my experience teaching in-person boot camps. So you've got the curriculum. This covers everything you, you need to know to go on uh, to learn and become a web developer. But that's just one facet. The other pieces of a boot camp uh, are a little bit trickier. Things like mentorship or being part of a community, a group of peers uh, who can lean on each other and you know stay up late studying and call each other panics before the, the quiz tomorrow. Um, alongside that, accountability is a huge piece. In my boot camps, both the part-time online job guaranteed boot camp and the full-time in-person boot camp, ugh, what a mouthful, um, we assess students all the time. We have quizzes, we have planned quizzes, pop quizzes, we review their code and projects, uh, we enforce, you know, people have to come to class, they can't just keep skipping class and still just expect to get a job. So accountability plays a huge role uh, in the decision to attend a boot camp. Now, with all that doom and gloomy negativity around what a boot camp has to offer versus this course, keep in mind that um, Many students have taken just this course. Many students cannot afford to take a full-time boot camp. Obviously, they're very expensive. Uh, they're impractical, difficult for people to just quit their job for six months. And I hear from students every single day in my email or my LinkedIn or YouTube channel, uh, students who have just gotten their first job uh, or just got their first offer out of this course. So it is 100% possible. And I have some advice uh, for how I would approach this course as a student to help you uh, get the most out of it. The first thing, without a doubt, most important, do the work, do the exercises, do the quizzes. I can't enforce that you take the time to, you know, fully uh, build out the exercises when I ask you to, or to do the interactive coding exercises. I mean, I can't enforce anything. Uh, it's, you're totally on your own, which is really, you know, that whole accountability thing I mentioned with attending a boot camp. I, there's no accountability here. So try and add structure do the exercises, take it seriously. I mean, unless you're, you know, you're here for fun or just exploring things, you know, you're your own person and I can't tell you what to do. But if I were in your shoes and I was trying to get a job, do every exercise. It's going to slow you down, but that's by design. The next piece of advice is don't just copy. What I mean by that is uh, when I'm typing code and showing you solutions in this course, uh, of which there are dozens, probably hundreds of different solutions, don't just open that up and copy the code, or don't just type exactly as I'm typing during the video. Uh, this is meant to be treated as a course. Just like you know, uh, me watching a couple of Gordon Ramsay videos online does not make me a chef. <laughs> I may have learned a little bit about cooking. I certainly learned something about cursing and how to create a television empire out of a fake grumpy persona when you're actually a lovable goofball. Oh, Gordon. Anyway, that's a piece of advice there, right? Can't become a chef by watching a YouTube video. You can't become a developer by watching my videos, right? You've got to do the work. You've got to stop, ask questions. This stuff takes practice. So that's the next piece of advice. Uh, after that, take your time, kind of retreading similar ground. Uh, the content here from an in-person bootcamp, we're talking about a minimum of 10 to 12 weeks of full-time teaching, lectures, exercises, projects, uh, 40 hours plus a week, right? So we're talking about hundreds of hours to go through the course, even though the course itself is, uh, I mean, it's probably longer now, but 50 something hours, close to 60 hours. Um, so that is not the amount of time this course should take you. That should be the amount of time, I guess, that you are watching videos. Uh, you may rewatch things too, but there's a lot more that goes into learning this stuff. So slow down. Focus on learning things. Don't copy, as I've already mentioned, uh, or don't exclusively copy. But also don't panic, because this is a very huge course, and you're almost certainly going to hit a rough patch somewhere. 
all my in-person students do. Even the ones who come in, you know, they've done all the work, the pre-work, they, they feel very confident, they're at top of the class for the first couple of weeks. There's always something that derails pretty much everyone. So that's normal. Okay, this is a lot to learn, and if it was, you know, incredibly easy and obvious to learn, I don't think I would have a career. Uh, that doesn't mean it's hard. It just means you may get stuck at some point. So don't panic. It's normal. And if you do get stuck, don't spin your wheels in the mud. Take a break. I'm serious about taking a break. It seems like a very obvious thing to say, but uh, I have seen the results of students not taking breaks in person. Okay, enough advice. Uh, really, the main thing I would say is just do the projects and exercises. Take the course seriously if you want to get a job. To treat it as you would a, a real course where you're getting a grade and you're magically being held accountable, even though I can't hold you accountable. Okay, next up, we need to talk about how you get the code for this course, and then we can begin the actual course. <laughs>